Um, when the Oyo State House of Assembly had a special sitting for him, yes. the media reported that he wept openly. <laughs> was that yes. a politician acting as we <laughs> normally have it? Uh, or was it genuine tears mm. of anguish? I think I met Ajimobi as um, just like any member of staff. And over eight years or ten years that I eventually knew him, we the relationship grew mm. you know so from just somebody in the office to becoming a son because he he was not shy of saying she is my son she will write my will she will do this and and all of that and um i think it was a genuine relationship um, when 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 my daughter was to be born he sent me over 10 names um, wow. And I was wondering how, how many names can somebody have when one person sends ten, of names. you know? Um, and he, 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 it was a, it was a deep relationship. I knew Ajimobi not the way people saw him. Mm. Ajimobi wanted to be seen as a strong and courageous leader. He kept saying, "An Ibadan man, I don't care what people may, I will get results," you know. But on that hard shell, there was a very soft man on the inside. There was a man that cared about your family, that cared about, you know, when you were not feeling well. There was a man that checked on you. There was a man that made sure you wanted it. So there were all these other things that we saw that worked closely with him, uh, coupled with his, his, his intellect, his wisdom, his strategy. He had succeeded in private sector. He, he was succeeding in public sector. And he just understood... You know, people, he would say very funny but true things. Like, she, life is vanity. You know, all of this, what, what are we doing? You know, so I... I, I Some are describing us as, uh, describe as a profoundly philosophical person. Absolutely, absolutely. And he had registered for his uh, PhD uh, before he passed. So for me, he, he had become... So you experienced the real genuine ab 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 Absolutely. I saw his vision. I saw what he was trying to create. I saw what he was trying. He loved Oyo State. He loved the Badon. He he wanted a modern Oyo State. You know that's why he called himself architect and builder of the modern Oyo State. Um, that particular day, I I obviously I didn't plan to cry, mm. uh, but mm. I said some words that it was exactly the same thing he used to say. So it triggered. And so he just triggered. He the uh, uh, you know, he said, I, "I want to be a statesman. I want to be a build, bridge builder." And I think it was when I said those words, it was as if he was, I was hearing him speak. That was what kind of led to that. Nobody goes to the floor planning to, to weep. Some have <laughs> wept on the floor you and know? it was fake. Uh, but, Some but, politicians, I don't want to mention names. <laughs> but anyway, that, that was not my, um, my, 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 and all those my, things. my agenda. It, it, just, it just really hit me then that this guy is gone. And he, 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 he went for field. He went, he knew mm. he had done his beat. He never wanted to do anything after being a governor. He was like, you can't stop serving. We need you. Go and do something else. And that's why he started this last minute uh, trying to be senator again and whatnot. He just wanted to so mentor he, people he, he, and, and help people. Going into Agode House sure. was to be the builder, architect, and father of modern, modern Oyo State. State yes. Was he convinced he achieved that vision uh, at the expiration I'm of I'm sure tenure? he knew he could not build Oyo State in eight years, but he had laid the foundation. Was we, he convinced that the foundation laid will be sustained? Unfortunately, governments changed. Exactly. Um, there is a document I have, Oyo 2050, and Ajimobi had moved from building houses to building cities. Um, you know, he kept talking about this city, that city. So it was you a 50-year development plan? Well, starting from 2020 was a 30-year plan. Okay, um, not that was 2019. No, 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 no. This okay. was, I'm going. At the tail end. This is what I have laid the foundation okay, so, for. Uh, this is the future I see, oh, um, oh, as it were. Oh, and, oh. and, you know, he, he appreciated the culture and tradition of Ibadan, but he felt we, could, we can't leave Ibadan there. Um, we can't live or just stay there. So we need to start creating these, this, if you like, new um, cities all over the place. Mm. The industrial city, 
you know, and so many other cities he was trying to, he you know, tried to build. To create a media you, city, you, the too. media city. Oh, you are, you are, since you were in the media, you know the smart city. Yeah, the smart you city. know, so there were so many things he was trying to put down, and he put it on paper. He had vision you of know? a metro transport system. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so all of those things are, are things that he had he had left, and 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 you know, for me, when government changes, it, it does break a lot of things. Now we're going to all of you that know, someday. Um... All of these laudable objectives that you are reporting to us now that sure. they had for your state. Sure. And uh, one could reference, there are lots, there's a long list of things one could reference. Sure. Which affirms this picture you're trying to paint for us now. Sure. I mean, the roads, the bridges, and what have you. Sure. But this opinion sure. or this understanding that mm -hmm. you have of him, yeah. how come the wider society didn't have it of him? So I think um, Ajimobi would say things like, I can fight the whole Ibadan uh, and I don't mind, but we must get results. I, there was a time we were in Dubai and we were driving to the hotel and you know, it was just myself and him in the car. And he wasn't talking to me. He was looking out of the window. Mm -hmm. And after about maybe three minutes, he just spoke out. And maybe he thought he was speaking to him. He just said, Like, we're trying to fix uh -huh. it. And, and they are not. And, and, then, are and, and then he said, ah, Nick Now, that was not a political statement. Mm. That was him. Speaking to loud. himself. His spirit was speaking. Yeah, I, I mean, I was, uh, I didn't know what to say. I just put my head like, okay, well, well, because he was speaking to himself. So that was him. He 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 understood that if if people get in my way, I I I, I as long as I build this Ibadan and on your state, modernize, yeah, modernize it. If people are going to, I will move them away. His style was, I just want be personally, personality wise, he was a choleric character. He was a strong personality, mm. you know, but. He used to tell me, Shay, you must learn to manage your boss and manage your subordinates. So when you understand his character type, he's very result driven. And so a lot of, and you can't go to him unprepared. So once I understood those things, it was easy to Could deal with him. that his impatience yes. to get things done mm. uh, was what made the public opinion to turn against him? So, I, well, again, that, that is a point of view. Um, uh, that everybody, to, you know, a, a, a large part of, of um, society, thought, I don't think is as large as people make it out. I think there's a lot of propaganda of how unacceptable he became. I don't think so. I because think I still want to explore he, this disconnect between his own vision, mm -hmm. which he pursued with, mm -hmm. with a lot of commitment, mm -hmm. with a lot of vigor, mm -hmm. and the disconnect of Society not seeing what he wants to do. So, so you know, again, as I said, is it about his handlers? So, I think when every time we went out, we we, I don't think we saw less of love from people. I don't think we saw less of or, or unacceptance. No, 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 I, I don't no, believe no, that. No, 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 it was it wasn't shown yes, whenever I went so, out. So he but was it was shown up. in the conversations on the street. Which you know, everywhere amplified. Which propaganda, you know, when you're, it, this is politics, mm. and we're trying to, Ajimobi was, as, as it were, he kept saying it that I have succeeded in private, I have succeeded in public life. When I, when I leave office, I don't want to do anything. I remember clearly people saying, oh, guy, you have to go again, you have to go again. You know, but the fact is that Ajimobi's style was, was more or less, we want to build it. Mm. If we have to wake up till 4 a.m., we would, we would, if you are feeling sleepy, sorry, but we must do it. We must do it. Do you understand? So he was, and, and there was a joke, there was a time a newspaper was, um, um, was describing governors. And I think they must have described him as very funny and um, witty. And he didn't like it. <laughs> I said, no. That's not the kind of image you Should be say. strong and courageous. I I, that I was posed, what he wanted. I he was the question, okay. He was okay with being seen as as strong and courageous. I posed the question to him once. Yes. What's your legacy? Yes. Uh, 
vision and what's the agenda of your government. Sure. And when he was responding, he said, I want to be known as the father of modern Iowa yes. State. So who is your role model? He said, Lee Kuan Yew. Mm -hmm. So that explains a lot of things. Sure. Lee Kuan Yew was his role model. Sure. Um, everybody was born with faults and strengths. So mm -hmm. he definitely had his faults mm -hmm. as a human being. Oh, yes. So he we must all, have his faults, um, which we can also learn from. And some of us were thinking a memoir would have been fitting before he departed. Nobody planned to depart. No. You know. No. Was that something that uh, he was thinking about? Yes, certainly. So two books were written, even though um, I know he's Not his still... speeches now, not no, collection no, not of speeches. speeches. Yeah. yeah, but... Memoirs but, of but, his but, public life. But, but I, I know he himself, you know, wanted to um, document a lot of things. Um, just as he was leaving governorship um, or the, the office, the party started calling again. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you remember, he rose to becoming the deputy national chairman uh, south of the APC. APC. So it, it just felt like responsibility would not leave him. Um, I know he wanted time to do a lot of this thing. Mm -hmm. He used to say he had applied for his PhD, said he wanted to become a preacher. Mm -hmm. He wanted to pass knowledge on. He wanted to document things. Mm -hmm. Um, but, you know, time time did not permit anymore. Yeah. So I know he had intentions of, of really, you know, um, doing that. But I believe the lives of many of us that he has touched, we, we have to oh, take on those responsibilities. We have to replicate some those of those ideals. Yes. Uh, talking about taking up those responsibilities, sure. uh, those of you who are his avid disciples, as it were, sure. his ideologies, his ideals, sure. Are you thinking of putting a memoir together for him to document his convictions, his vision, his life and times, his temperament, and how he pursued what he believed in? Because newspaper stories would not do that. I'm actually working on that. Okay, and we pray that God will give you the strength yes. to do all of that.